What is up everybody? Good morning. We are ready to rock and roll here at Aquascape. As you can see, we've got Greg's Turtle Topia back behind me and the infamous, famous Koi window here inside Aqualand for the Japanese Koi tank. Today, we are going to be performing a spring clean out on this bad boy. What this is going to do is it's basically going to regenerate the system. We are gonna clean the enormous wetland filter that sits underneath the deck over there that you can see Greg and Shaq hanging out on. We are going to also harvest all of this water or as much of it as we can, get it in the tank so that we can put this home water back in to make it as less stressful on the fish as possible. That home water is already seasoned and is a well-established ecosystem, so we don't want to disrupt that at all. We All we simply want to do is clean the rock and gravel, clean the wetland filter, put all that home water back in, and then restart that ecosystem. So first things first is we are going to declutter the area. Not that this isn't nice stuff or that it is clutter, but I wanna make sure that we're not going to wreck anything or make a mess over anything. So I wanna get all obstructions out of the way first. So all the chairs, all the stuff up on the deck. I wanna move all these stools back down here behind me out of the way so that we can set up all of our 500 gallon clean out tanks, which will probably need 10 or 11 in here. Based on my estimation, this is about 5,500 to 6,000 gallons of water. So we're gonna set all of our blue tank, collapsible blue tanks up in here. Maybe we'll have a couple overflow out there. We'll start draining this thing down. When the water gets down to about a foot or so, we're gonna start pulling those fish out and putting them into those tanks that we are taking all of this home water out. So we'll take the fish, put them into some blue tanks over there. We're also gonna set up plenty of oxygen. As you can see, we've got aerators already set up in here, but we are gonna set up aerators in every single tank and divvy these fish up between all of the tanks to help keep them separated, not creating an enormous amount of fish load and building up that ammonia in one 500 gallon tank we want to kind of divide and dilute that by having only a few fish in each tank so we're going to separate them that way we don't have an enormous amount of fish in one tank producing a lot of waste and bumping up those ammonia levels making it a toxic environment for those fish so we're going to divvy them up we're going to use a specific kind of net which i will show you later in the video that will help with the safe keeping and safe transfer of the fish but we will get into all of that throughout this video let me go check in with the rest of our team i think they're cleaning out the tanks sanitizing them because we've been using them for cleanouts. So I think they're sanitizing them right now, making sure that they're gonna be safe and we're not carrying anything that has anything from anybody else's pond and potentially putting it into this ecosystem. So we wanna make sure that we get those tanks nice and clean before we bring them up here and start dumping the water from this pond into those tanks. So let's go check in with the gang and see how we're doing. Like I said, they are cleaning out the tanks. Now we've got Taylor, Micho, Kobe. Jack's around here somewhere. What up, Kobe? Hey. All right, Micho. So what do we got going over here, boss? We're getting out these tanks. We're getting them nice and clean for a retail fish area over there. And once we have these tanks ready to go, cleaned out with this chlorinated water, we're gonna take these tanks out front and start draining the pond and getting that thing cleaned out. Awesome, awesome. is we want to clean these tanks using a chlorinated water source so that it'll help kill any potential pathogen that may have been left over or residual from the cleanouts that had previously been done at a homeowner's house. Because these are all tanks that we use every day out in the field. We have a habit of cleaning them after every clean out, rinsing them down before we throw them back in the truck. But we just want to make pay extra special attention today because there are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in koi in that Japanese koi pond as well as some of Greg's most prized possessions. So we just want to make sure that we're not bringing anything in from the outside, any pathogens or anything like that that could potentially harm these fish or kill the fish. So we're just doing our due diligence, cleaning them out. We're doing it inside here in the truck bay because it's a climate controlled environment. It's pretty cold outside and there's a nice drain in here. So we're gonna clean all these tanks out and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them back up, throw them on a pallet, take them up to the retail store, get them staged, and then start getting that water drained down. So. We are moving right along. Once we get these moved up front, we are also gonna have a little bit of material stays because like I said, we're gonna add some extra gravel to a section of that koi pond, as well as some fake rock skin that we are going to veneer along the near side closest to that koi window. So I'll show you that part. as just some additional things that while we have it drained, it'll make things nice and accessible. We'll also take a look at the lights and all that stuff in combination with cleaning the system, the tank itself, and the wetland filter. So let's keep going.
All right, so like I said, we got to declutter the area. You can see we've got Mitro over here. He's pulling up the floor mats. We're gonna start grabbing the stools just to make everything nice and easy. Mitro! So I'm gonna turn everything over to my main man Micho as well as Jack over here. They're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the equipment up here and you're gonna hear how the clean out goes from these two fine ladies. <laughs> Excuse me, from these two gentlemen uh, today. So you guys ready? Yep. yep. All right, let's go. What are you doing? Right now we're, uh, we have the water drained down to an appropriate level for the fish to be safe. Right now we're going through with these sock nuts and we're gonna scoop out all these fish. Guys, so we got all the fish out. All we got left is to drain the rest of this water in the pond. What we got Kobe doing over here, we're gonna start taking these decking boards out so we can start rinsing this wetland underneath and we'll give you a little more explanation once we have this all done. Right now, I pulled off a majority of these deck boards. We kept some of them on because this wall is being held up by the deck boards. Right now, we have one pump clean out tank right now being ready to rinse all this gravel down while we have one pump sitting on our snorkel and centipede. Now, the point of the snorkel and centipede is for the wetland. If you come over here, this is called a snorkel and it's an easy clean out port. Through yearly, we can drop a pump down here and simply clean the bog out a lot easier. The focus of this wetland right now is we have one of our clean out hoses in our 500 gallon tank and we're gonna come through here with the volume from the inch and a half line and we're gonna flush all the debris and sediment that has accumulated through the entire season out of the gravel. And it's gonna go through down at the very bottom of our centipede, we have our clean out pump. Hey guys, I'm back again. Right now, we're just doing the finishing touches on this clean out. As you can see right now, Micho is finishing up uh, rinsing the gravel down. Whenever we're at a clean out and we're cleaning the gravel, we want to stir all that gravel up because it gets all the stuff that's in that's trapped beneath the gravel in the liner. And so you just want you just want always to stir that gravel up. Whenever we're doing the clean out, it just turns the water crystal clear. As you can see, if you want to pull over here, we there's a finishing touch that we have to do, but for the most part, all this gravel is done. It's clean. All we gotta do is just level it back out, and this side's done. If you come over here, this wetland we went through. Right here is the intake bay that we have. These are where all our pumps sit. we're filling up the pond right now. We did everything that we had to do. We had to add more gravel, move the gravel to cover up all this liner down here. We covered up all the airline hoses for the time being. Added gravel to that section over there and we cleaned out that wetland. So everything's looking good and now we're gonna fill it up, add all the water back in that we saved from earlier back into the pond just so the fish are better off and they don't have to acclimate as much to new water for the cow. Right now, we're putting these deck boards back together. We're filling the pond. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and clear. We got everything buttoned up, ready to go. So once we have the pond filled up, we can add the fish from the water that we already saved. The tank's all over alongside, as you saw in my video earlier. But yeah, wetland's clean, gravel's clean, gravel's added. The uh, lights are all tucked away, and we're just putting these deck boards in. As you can see, the fish are back in the pond. We're all done, we have the net on. The water is a little cloudy, unfortunately, right now. Give it two days, it'll clear right up. Meet Joe Jack and the rest of the crew and girls, finally done, we're signing off. If you haven't liked, commented, and subscribed, feel free to do so, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment.